The deadly wildfires in Hawaii are projected to have a major economic impact on the state and the popular tourist destination of Maui. Contessa Brewer has a closer look at the toll. Contessa. Well, Morgan, we just got new estimates from CoreLogic. In three of the four wildfire zones on Maui, there are more than 3,000 homes with a reconstruction value of $1.3 billion. Now, not all of those homes will have been destroyed or even damaged, but that figure also doesn't include commercial structures like restaurants and hotels, offices and churches. AccuWeather estimates that the total damage and the economic impact together will come to as much as $10 billion. In the meantime, insurers are hustling to figure out how to process claims in spite of power being out, communications being down on that part of the island, roads being closed. State Farm has more than a third of the homeowners' policies in Hawaii. Um, we have two offices that were in Lahaina um, that are not in operation right now. So uh, we're trying to assist all those Lahaina town clients uh, and people all over the island experience losses, um, either due to fire uh, or high winds. We had winds gusting over 80 miles an hour. Um, and so, you know, that causes significant amount of damage as well to homes, roofs, trees down everywhere. And that was something that really has been missed when we're talking about the wildfires because it's the devastation in Lahaina is so complete. But we should be learning more about what kind of damage they got from those 60 mile an hour plus gusts from Hurricane Dora. We've learned that Lahaina residents are just now starting to be allowed back in Morgan. So this is a really fast changing situation here and the response to it necessarily has to depend first on the safety of those responding.